Joey with Geeky Doors here at the 2018 Amazing Las Vegas Comic Con. Joining me right now is Nikolai of Garage FX. How's it going? It's going well. All right. Now, Garage FX, they, they do a lot of costumes and props and all sorts of things that are, are necessary for, for a, a complete cosplay nowadays. So uh, what would you say is your, your uh, area of expertise here at Garage FX? Well, when somebody first gets into cosplay, you know, you may start with the cardboard, but when you want to, you know, rank up a little bit there, you, you start with the foam is really what's, what's the next step. So I teach people how to work with foam. It's a very easy thing to work with, but there are some tips and some tricks that if you don't get those down, you can really mess up your costume. Now, when you say foam, is it just uh, a specific type of foam you're talking about or just something like packing foam you would get in a box? So, like, if you ever look in somebody's garage floor, you know, they might have anti-fatigue mats on the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're made out of what's called EVA foam. So you can find it in many different things, some workout mats, uh, those anti-fatigue mats, just the regular craft foam that you might find in your kindergarten class. Oh, yeah. um, we like using that stuff because it's, it's cheap, it's readily available, it's easy to find. Not too heavy. Not too heavy. It gets hot, but you know, if you're good with things like fans or you just put some ventilation in your costume, it works well. And I've seen uh, from a lot of your work here that, that a lot of things you can make with this foam are, are weaponry, armor pieces. Is that the general, uh, the most common use of EVA foam? Yes, for sure. It's uh, a lot of your props, anything robotic or armor related. Oh. If you want something that looks a little more organic, maybe skin, um, there are ways of using the foam as a skin, but really you're going to want to move on to other things like casting, which we do have tutorials for, but it's a little beyond me. I, I usually tell people how to work with the foam. All right. So now, uh, assuming that, that they know what they want to do, uh, they have a supply of foam. Now, uh, what would, be, would you say would be the, the first step to really crafting what you need out of, out of foam? Um, if you have a good heat knife, you know, it's basically just a soldering iron with an X-Acto knife tip. Huh. Either you're crafty enough to make one yourself or you buy one. Um, that's a really easy way to cut through the foam to get a good cut. And then if you want to shape it, you just get a heat gun. It's a glorified hair dryer, basically. Um, those two things and some contact cement for your glue and you're ready to start making stuff. All right, now, now I also saw you working with a Dremel before. Uh, what would be the main purpose of using the Dremel? So if I had my way at a convention, we'd have the belt sander here, right. but we don't bring the belt sander to the convention, so my next best thing is the Dremel. Right. Basically, if you want to bevel something, if you want to chamfer something, you want to put an edge on, on your you know normally 90 degree cut, then you're going to use that. So the Dremel is a good alternative to the belt sander, which would be a lot faster. All right, now, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's the craziest thing that you've had to make out of foam? <laughs> the craziest thing I've tried to make out of foam, um, we did some Predators a while back. A lot of it was cast, a lot of it was latex, but when we went to make the dreadlocks, it was all made out of foam. Huh. And so it was a lot of very long pieces that, you know, you had to make them so that they actually look like one piece instead of a foam that was wrapped around itself, which is what it was. And that, that took some, some time and effort, but we got it to work. All right, now, uh, I, I, you see a lot of cosplayers using uh, EVA foam in, in, their, in their costumes. What's uh, one of the, the biggest mistakes or most common mistakes you see people make when they're, when they're working with foam? Oh, easily when they're trying to use hot glue guns. Never use hot glue on your costume. Every time somebody comes up to us and they want us to help them fix their costume because something broke, it's always, oh, my hot glue came apart. That's always what it does. Always use you know, either CA glue, the cyanoacrylate, or use contact cement. But if you use a hot glue gun, you're asking for your costume to fall apart. Huh, and, and it seems like hot glue is a really common type of uh, uh, material that, that cosplayers think about. Right, I mean, it's kind of the first thing you would think about, but it doesn't work. Huh. It really doesn't, especially if you live somewhere like Nevada or Arizona where it gets hot, it's going to fall apart. All right, that's really good advice. And now, uh, what's another, uh, if you had one tip, aside from not, don't use hot glue, one tip to, to offer cosplayers, what, what would you say? Um, don't forget to add the detail. You know, you'd be amazed what you can do if you use a little bit of the two millimeter foam, the really thin stuff. If you add that on there as trim work, or if you use your hot knife to kind of carve some symbols or something into it, you can really add a lot to a costume from that extra trim, that extra detail. And, and is there any, any cosplay you've seen that, that uh, you've seen the work done, it just blew your mind how good it is? Is there any example of, of a, a cosplay that just really wowed you? 
personally, it's always the big robots, you know, the big spawns that are robots. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love those. I mean, there are some good costumes that are smaller, but the amount of time and energy and patience it takes to make one of those big costumes, I mean, those are perfect for foam, so I mean, I'm going to advocate it as well. <laughs> but, I mean, those ones blow me away personally. Yeah, I always see uh, like, like, like the Warhammer 40,000 yes, Space Marines. Yes, definitely. I love those. Yeah, yeah, it seems like that's perfect, perfect yes. for foam. Yeah, Fallout armor, oh, the yeah, yeah. Warhammer, Space Marines, anything big, robot, bulky armor. I love those. Thank you for your answer. Thank, Thank you for you. your yep. time. This is Nikolai, Garage Effects. Remember, no hot glue, people. No hot glue.